In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Behold, the Lord, the mighty one, has come, and kingship is his glory, and power, and dominion. Very welcome to our Mass on this Feast of the Epiphany, uh, which is being offered for the repose of the soul of Anne Neroni, who died recently. And we come, like the Magi, to bring our gifts to the Lord. We don't have gold and silver to bring to him, but we bring the gift of our very selves, that we may honour him with the love that is in our hearts. And as usual, we ask him to cleanse our hearts of anything that is unfitting for his glory and his majesty. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord of Mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of Mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendour of the Father, Lord of Mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of the star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit of God, forever and ever. Amen. Since the riches of the sea were filled to you, 
the wealth of the nations come to you. Camels and camels will cover you, and dromedaries of Midian and Ether. Everyone in Sheba will come, bringing gold and incense, and singing the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Response to the song, all nations shall prostrate before you, O Lord. All nations shall prostrate before you, O Lord. O God, through your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, and your poor in right judgment. All nations shall prostrate before you, O Lord. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace to the one who of no chaos. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to the air of sound. All nations shall fall The king of Tartus and the sea coasts shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate. All nations shall serve him. All nations shall serve him. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. All nations shall fall A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You have probably heard how I have been entrusted by God with the grace he made for you, and it was by a revelation that I was given the knowledge of the mystery. This mystery that has now been revealed through the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets was unknown to any man in past generations. It means the pagans now shall say in the same inheritance that they are part of the same body, and that the same promise has been made to them in Jesus Christ. To the Gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the and the Lord. We saw the star as it rose, and have come to do the Lord homage. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. After Jesus had been born of Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod, some wise men came to Jerusalem from the east. Where is the infant king of the Jews, they asked. We saw his star as it rose and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was perturbed and so was the whole of Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people and inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. At Bethlehem in Judea they told him, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For out of you shall come a legion who will be shepherd to my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men to see him privately. He asked them the exact date on which the star appeared and sent them on to Bethlehem. Go and find out all about this child, he said, and when you have found him, let me know that I too may go and do him homage. 
Having listened to what the king had to say, they set out. And there in front of them was the star they had seen rising. It went forward and halted over the place where the child was. The sight of the star filled them with delight. And going into the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. And falling to their knees, they did him homage. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, and returned to their own country by a different way. The Gospel of the Lord. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. And invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on our conscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for the offering. We just take a moment to consciously and deliberately offer ourselves to the Lord today. We pray for the grace to gaze upon reality as the wise men gazed upon the darkness of the sky. I remember one night going across the Irish Sea. I lay down on a bench on the upper deck to look up at the sky, and all I could see at first was the blackness of the sky. And then slowly the stars seemed to come out one by one. It struck me that the stars were already there. It was just that I couldn't see them. And sometimes we gaze at life and we cannot see Jesus, who is the real star, who is the light of God that shines for us in every situation and especially in every darkness. So we pray for the grace to truly see, truly see Jesus. And we pray to be healed of all the things in our lives that prevent us from seeing him. 
and it's very interesting in the gospel that the light of the star disappears in the presence of Herod. And it would seem that where our intentions are not pure, where we choose deception over truth, that the light of Jesus cannot be seen. We pray for the grace to truly worship God, to worship Jesus. And in having a profound respect for him and for all that is of him, we would also have a profound respect for every other person. So we bring all of our thoughts, all of our intentions, all of our desires through the prayers of Mary, asking her to represent us as she knows best in the presence of her Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favour, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your Church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who 
comes at the name of the Lord, or shall in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We stand together now in prayer with Jesus. We ask for the coming of God's kingdom in our hearts and in our world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you, the body of Christ.
We have seen his star in the east and have come with gifts to adore the Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended, let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a lovely day, everybody, and have a feast day. Um, just to remind you that there's a slight change in our Mass schedule. Uh, during the weekdays, there will only be Mass publicly on Wednesday and Friday. There will be no Saturday morning Mass. The usual Sunday Masses will be celebrated publicly. That is Saturday evening and Sunday morning at 10 and 11.30 a.m. If anybody needs the sacrament of anointing, of course you call the parish phone number and if anybody needs confession, I would always be available for that by appointment as well. Okay? Be safe and as they say, test negative. God bless you.